creativity. Today we have an awesome show. Oh my God! I brought back, brought back your uh, <laughs> love lamp. Oh my God! Look oh, at you guys. You guys are making tie dye shirts. And you know we love tie dye. <laughs> You know? Yeah, these are awesome. You guys look great. <laughs> Thank you. I really was waiting for this. Um, you know, we're filming right now. Oh. Ooh. But you know what? I'm glad you're here because it shows everybody loves tie-dye. You betcha. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, while you're here, why don't you just tell everyone who you are? I'm Mark Carrick, and I teach digital design at Gilroy High School. My name is Armando Padilla, and I teach PE at Gilroy High School. All right. Yeah, I know we, we taught a long go. time together, but uh, you want to stay and do some tie-dye? We got to go. We no, gotta we got to sure? go. We got to go work up. on some lesson plans. Yeah, that's <laughs> right, right. All right. Well, thank you All very right, much. No okay. Fun, we you. will. Bye-bye. Awesome. Bye -bye. awesome. We had a, a lot of teachers at Gilroy High that were so much fun and really, you know, got into making making things and we have skits and all kinds of things going on. I'm just going to set this right here. I've got some great guests. We're going to be doing not only tie-dye, but transfer shirts and uh, just having a great time. So we've got um, some students from various schools, and I'm going to have them introduce themselves right now. And we're going to start with... Hi, I'm Zach. I go to Gora High. I'm a junior, and I've been uh, working on some transfer t-shirts, also some tie-dye. Hi, I'm Shannon. I go to Brown Hill Middle School, and I'm going to be doing two different types of tie-dye. Hi, my name is Justin Hoppy. I go to Galvin Hills Academy in Gore, and I'm going to be doing the bullseye today. Right, and they've been over here practicing and having having great time. So we're going to start with Zach. We're not going to waste any time and let these experts do the teaching. Um, but before we do that, I am going to actually show you what materials we need because I think that's basic. Okay, so. You need the dye. Bottom line, you need tie dye, and um, you can buy it in the kits like this. And these are everything comes in these kits, but they tend to you know be limited. So if you don't want to do that, there's a lot of other ways you can do it. You can buy writ dye, you can buy um, just package dyes, anything you want. And then we're using squeeze bottles, and you can buy the squeeze bottle anywhere. Just empty squeeze bottles and then pour the dye in, and then it will be shot through the squeeze bottle. You need rubber bands, of course, a lot of rubber bands. We have plain water in a squeeze bottle as well, and we also have some marbles and scissors, and one of the most important things you can ever have is rubber gloves, because if you don't have these, then your hands are gonna be colored. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's get started with Zach. All right, um, so first I'm going to show you the transfer. I, you can buy this transfer paper at like Walmart or Michaels, anywhere really that would have craft supplies. Um, you get the paper and you print out your design on it, and if it has any words on it or if you want it to be a specific way, you have to mirror the image on the computer, and then you print it out in an inkjet printer onto the transfer paper. You just put the paper right in the printer and it comes out really clean. And then you iron out the shirt first so that it gets a flat surface. And then after that, you just put down your paper, iron, and you just press down on each section of the, on, the, on the transfer paper for about 20 seconds in each spot until you have the whole thing completely done. And if you want your transfer to come out in a specific shape, then you can cut it out. Usually an X-Acto knife works the best for that. And then you have it ironed and you wait for it to cool. And once it's cool, you just pull off the transfer and you have your design perfect on the shirt. And usually I wait for like a couple minutes for it to cool down so that when you, don't, when you peel it off, it doesn't crack the design. I, I have a shirt. I want to show you how to peel it off. Okay. All right. So this is another thing you can do. And this is um, a photograph. So some of you might, you can draw your own designs or you can... Um, you know, just copy off a design. And then this is ironed on a, a shirt, and this is a maternity shirt. My daughter is gonna have a baby. <laughs> I'm so excited. So what I did is I took a picture of Nicole and her family. She has one little boy. And I did the same thing, ironed it on, and then this is how you peel it off. Look how cool this is. And I, I left it for the show. Look how cute. 
So she's going to have this shirt with her family on it. It's really cool. See it? So, you know, you can do a lot of things with the transfers, and they're really, really fun. So, Zach, you have another technique you're going to show us. Yes, the tie-dye. Get rid of this one real quick. All right, so, actually, here is just a plain, plain white shirt, right? And flatten it out, and you grab it in the center, and you just kind of twist it up like this. And you twist it until it becomes really tight, and then you rubber band it, and you rubber band it in like an X, and then you have like another one on there somewhere, and you have to dip it in some soda ash inside water. And it comes with the tie dye, and then after that, you pretty much just drip on the dye where you want it to be, wherever. Maybe some yellow and probably some pink too. Some dye all over it. It's kind of spilling, but whatever. <laughs> You, we have a spray bottle, like you kind of just spray it on, it works It works pretty well, it ends up making a cool design. And I'll throw some pink, and it gets a little messy, so yeah, that's why you want to be wearing your gloves, like for sure, for sure. And then, there's only that on the side, I guess. You can turn it over oh. and do the other side. Yeah. What, what we're using, I, I put boards in between, um, you know, in garbage bags so that we have a surface that is protected. And then that works out really good because you can just take a towel and wipe it up. Yeah. You always want to cover everything. Lots of newspaper and then these are actually boards, you know, inside garbage bags. All right, and then, <laughs> I don't know, this is really quick so you can't really see the swirl as well, but if I had taken more time to do it, it would, you can see the basic pattern of it. That's great, and you can show them the ones behind you yeah. are swirls. This is one that I did, and then we added with this, with the, with one of these spray bottles. We just sprayed on these designs. You just do the swirl design, and you just flatten it out with your hands and spray on with the bottle, and it pretty much just ends up leaving another swirl on top of the swirl that you've already done. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. And what uh, Zach was talking about the soda ash. We didn't use this, um, it's not like imperative, but it, it comes in these little packages. It's just like this white stuff. And you just pour it in a bucket and put some water. And before you start to, to dye your shirt, it actually works a lot better if you have it wet. Because I was trying it when it wasn't soaked and it was just kind of rolling all around. So it's better this way. Okay, Shannon. All right, well, the first type of tie-dyeing I'm doing is the folding. And you just lay out your shirt really simply and start to pleat it. Folding forward and folding backwards, just pleat it. And eventually, after you do that numerous amount of times, you work all the way to the end of the shirt, and then you just rubber band as tightly as possible on each possible little increment, about one to two inches between every rubber band, and you want a rubber band as tightly as possible because that helps the color. And then just spray whatever colors you want on it. And I'm gonna go with pink and this weird blue. That's like a navy. Yeah. And that's a RIT dye. I just took it right out of the bottle and diluted it a little bit, so. It's really, you get a, a lot of dye for a little bit of money that way. And then it's, maybe so it doesn't get on your clothes, because this will stain your clothes. <laughs> Cut off all the rubber bands. It's fun to see because you never know what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, be careful about this one. You may want to add goggles for the safety precaution. <laughs> <laughs> you never know what you're going to end up with. And you can see behind us, we have all kinds of really cool things. Some of them are transfers, uh, and some are just one color. You know, you can go as wild as you want. There's all kinds of materials that you can, you can uh, buy, but the very, very best is pure cotton. If you don't use pure cotton, you can't use a synthetic. A cotton, a natural fiber is, is your best bet. All right, so let's check it out. And final turnout. Very nice. That looks good. That looks really good. Nice folded array of colors. 
And you can put in colors in between or whatever you want to do if you want to spice it up some. And then the next one is a little <laughs> bit more time consuming. <laughs> um, for this one, you need marbles. And simply just take your lovely marble jar here, select a marble. And you can either do just one half of the shirt, like underneath it or both sides. And you take it and you rubber band like so. And you do that until you have each individual spot of the t-shirt marbled up <laughs> like so. <laughs> Can take a few hours, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, we did this, uh, and we've, we've never actually seen anything like this. <laughs> no, so this is, <laughs> this is a first. Yeah. And then um, this diet, I'm going to go ahead and just dye certain spots of it, I guess, not knowing what's going to come out of this. And then... Whatever colors you want. Probably should turn it over, yeah. Yeah, and then on the back, I did it through both sides. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nice sound effect. It's fun, and if you are outside, it's great because you can, um, you know, just not worry about the floor or any of the um, dyes getting on, on anything. And if you are inside, just put a big old tarp underneath you. And we're going to work on cutting this. Well, we go to well, Justin. We talk to Justin, who is over here. Okay, I'm doing the bullseye, which you're gonna wanna twist like in the middle of it, and you're gonna just rubber band it and just keep on going. And then, yeah, you're just gonna keep on going like this, and it's gonna turn out to be like this. And then you're gonna dip it in soda ash like like Zach said and then you're just gonna shoot it in like <laughs> just gonna like pour it all over <laughs> it's really fun whatever you want to do just you can go crazy with it yeah, it's, it's really fun. We did it at school, and I had 35 kids doing it at once, so it, don't be afraid. It's, it's really not that messy. It looks kind of messy now. So basically what, what you're doing is you're pulling up, and you're banding, 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 so it becomes like um, smaller, bigger, bigger, bigger. Can I use that blue? Sure. This one or the, this dark one? Yeah. That's a navy, so that's yeah. why it's so dark. And also, you you know, the color mixing too. So if you put like a green, um, a yellow next to the blue, you're gonna get some green. And that shirt you have on is yeah. a good example. Uh, this is the this is actually the navy blue, and when the yellow and the blue come together, it kind of creates like a green effect. And these are actually some of the marbles. Like this is where a marble was, and this is also and. There's another one right here. So they actually they have pretty cool effects when they're when they're all done. Yeah, they're great. Uh -huh. Justin's going crazy with the dye, shooting it in. And if you don't get the rubber band really, really tight, then what happens is it slides through. It doesn't um, you know, it, it doesn't like leave a nice white line where the, the rubber band was. Yeah. So you really want it to be tight. So you're you're ready to take it apart, yeah. and when you're do, why don't you just um, hold off on that, and then we can show them maybe the stencil, um, and then you can cut that while I'm showing them the, the rest of the stencil. So um, let's wipe this down. Get rid of the shirt over here, and what we're gonna do too is show you how you can you can just invent, just go crazy, invent your own thing. Um, Play with it, you know, get some shirts. We, I did all kinds of crazy things and uh, just trying try all kinds of uh, techniques of bleach and marble and everything. So we're going to take this shirt, and if you look at Justin's shirt, Justin, maybe turn so you can see. 
you can see these little stars right in here. And we added this star. This is a star t-shirt. And Justin, why don't you just tell, tell everyone what star is? Yeah, star is a really fun camp that you go to in the summer. And they show you theatrical, like, they teach you theatrical stuff and they do activities. And it's at Gavlin College and you go and you get to eat, eat in the cafeteria and it's really fun. And at the end, you get to do a show. So what show um, have you been in? I've been in Greece and Horton Years Who for the shows I've been doing in Star. And the next one coming up is Pirates of the Penzance. And are you in that one too? Yes. All right. Yeah. Who did you act with? I acted with Shannon. Anybody we know? <laughs> no. <laughs> so Shannon, you were in Star too? Yes, I've been in Star for quite a long while. This is going to be my eighth year. Wow. Star Kid. Great. So you love it. I do love it. That's what I spend my summer doing. Fun. All right, let's get back to this. I cut this out of this regular paper with a dull knife, so it's got, it doesn't have a very good edge. So we're putting it on the shirt. This is how we got the stars on Justin's shirt. And just laying it down. And now, Justin, take it away. OK. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to do like a half color, like kind of like a rainbowy thing. And this is great because you learn color mixing. Even if you don't know, you're going to find out. <laughs> That's either, oh boy, I love that, or I'll never do that again. That's nice. And these are little, these came like this. But you can just put the um, color in a squirt bottle, too. You guys are still <laughs> working like crazy. And this paper is slick, which is kind of nice because it doesn't sink in and, and go to the back. And if you notice, we put this shirt inside a board, and then that way it doesn't sink to the back as well. So that's really good. All right, so voila. Yay, that's beautiful. Hold it up. So that looks cool. That was really great. And then we tie-dyed, too, so you can mix it up really nice. And then, if you want to do something else, you can take the little pieces that came out of the stencil and lay those down. And then what's going to happen with these is you're going to get the white. OK, usually you kind of tape them down, but because of, of this, why don't you just squirt one, see what happens. All right. And then lift it up. Cool. <laughs> that looks really, really good. So just, you know, uh, go ahead and, and uncut your shirt. And then did you show them the bullseye in the back? Yeah. This is what your bullseye is pretty much supposed to look like. I don't know if mine's going to be like this. <laughs> but what happens is you get the smaller uh, rubber band and the, as you know, you go down like this. That's kind of what, what it is. So Justin's going to cut that out, and we're going to see what that looks like. I've got one other thing that I, I tried to do, and I think it turned out great. So I want to show you this technique. This shirt in the back, uh, this brown, that really nice earthy tone, that started out like this. This was a black, it was just a black shirt. And I thought to myself, you know what, it'd be kind of cool if I could see if I put it in straight bleach. Because you know when you bleach your shirts, how you know it lightens up. So what I did was I took the shirt and I actually tied it. This is a black shirt that I tied. I took straight bleach, hoping it wouldn't burn a hole in the shirt. And I tossed this thing in there for a day. And then I cut the rubber bands off, and it looked. It, this is what happened. It's that shirt. So you know that is great. So I'm going to cut this off as well. I also wanted to show you um, the two things up there. This is um, the jean jacket 
was a actual um, painting on fabric that I sewed, or actually the nimble thimble sewed it on the jean jacket for me. And then I took a copy of it and I made the transfer for the t-shirt. So you can pretty much take a copy of anything and, and use that. So I'm gonna just um, go ahead and start cutting this. Um, also, I wanted to show you another technique while these guys are cutting so we have a little bit of time. This is a transfer as well. This is a painting on a shirt. I took a copy, here's the copy, and made the, um, the transfer and put it on the shirt. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna squirt this shirt so you can see what happens. And I didn't wet this one, and I'm sorry I didn't. But um, I'm gonna move this aside just a little bit so you can see. And I'm gonna just squirt it down because you can do this too. And what I have under here, just so you know, is a garbage bag over a piece of cardboard. So if I squirt this side, it's not gonna end up over here. Okay, so that's, that's the reason for that. And I'm gonna try to use the colors that are in here because I think, you know, I don't wanna go completely crazy. So I'm just taking the yellow. And this is what happens when you do not wet the shirt and it balls up like this and I didn't wet this before, so that was kind of dumb, but it looks cool. You can never make a mistake in art, it's really fun. Sometimes the mistakes turn out to be the best thing, but see how these beat up? That's pretty wild. I'm just gonna, that's if you don't wet the shirt, that's a good way to, so, make it sink. Just gonna do that. Just make our own thing happen here. It's art in action. So this is kind of a yellow orange, that's cool. So you can actually do that. If the shirt was soaked in soda ash first, it would be way better and it would sink right in and you'd have no problem. But you can actually draw your own thing with the dye. Okay, so what else are we doing? We have Justin's that's ready to unveil. The bullseye. All right, that is great. Yeah, that turned out really good. Take a bow on that one. That's really excellent, Justin. That's amazing. Okay, what about you guys? I'm gonna show you a little bit, because that one's gonna go on for life. Oh my God, that is cool. Yeah. Oh man, that looks great. Look at that. We have a ton of That is really nice. I love it. I love it. That's really great. I'm glad we but did you that. Put the really tight rubber bands. There. Yeah. yeah. You have to make sure they're like extremely tight because then you won't. If, you, if they're not tight enough, you won't get the ring around them or the marbles. Mm -hmm. or, and yeah. Won't turn out right. Exactly. And the same thing with this one, which I was going to cut, but it takes a while. Um, this was a black shirt. If it's not super tight, you're not going to get any black. Yeah. Because the ink will just sink right in and, and it'll just penetrate. So it won't be a real good, um, you know, variation of color. So, um, and I think that's about it, you guys. I think we're out of time. And uh, this was totally fun. And all the people at home, please, please try this. Your kids will love it. They'll have a blast. And you can make awesome garments for yourself. Um, I want to thank all the all of you that came today, and also the Gavlin crew: Sean, Joseph, Barbara, Teresa, <laughs> Analok, Pablo, Marilyn, Abad, Cardinelli. Awesome, awesome people that work on the crew, and Joseph. I think I got everybody today. <laughs> all right, so we're. We're all finished for today, and everybody together, ciao for now. We'll see you next time on Carol on Creativity. Bye.